So they're just trying to, to protect her and make sure that she's in there for a long, the long haul, treating it more of a, a marathon than a sprint. So she'll be in there, she'll be playing back row, just to make sure that nothing gets aggravated, get everybody healthy. This team has had far too many injuries than to lose JJ, one of their big hitters on the outside. And she comes in with a year experience as a starter, and that is actually saying something for this very young and technically inexperienced team. Only two players on the floor, Minkle and Ledoux, have more than a full year of experience uh, with this black and gold squad. And so having Janisa out there, even if it's just on the defensive side, obviously pretty big for Jim Alaro. Definitely. I mean, you look out there, and uh, right now you see three freshmen and a couple sophomores mixed in with the seniors. So a lot of youth. Uh, we're going to see... Tyler Jackson, the freshman, she's going to come in. She'll jump serve, and she'll play defense on the back line. So really a lot of youth, and you can see that early on, the growing pains were there, and the literal pains <laughs> were there for the uh, injuries. So hopefully this team can come together and round into form towards the second half of Big West play. Well, both teams getting their uh, players on the floor and getting everything situated. Lauren Minkle with the ball in her hand, smacks it a couple of times, waits for that opening whistle. And we are about to get underway. There is that whistle. Minkle still bouncing that ball in front of her. And we are off. Serve is over. Pacific gets it to the right side to start it off. And Minkle is there to dig it out. Julie up the middle to Hampton. Throws it down, but Pacific stays tough. Now on the left side, and the Tigers strike first blood. Yeah, that one got through the block. Credit the kill to Megan Birch there for the Tigers. So, uh, and Pacific wearing the pink, uh, pink jerseys for Breast Cancer Awareness Month here in October. Seen a lot of that in sports uh, the past few weeks. Serve over, Minkle gets it to Julie. On the outside to Agner Swayze, and she finds an opening, and that stays in. Just too easy there for uh, Agner Swayze. No, no block to speak of, and she was just able to put it over and uh, find some room there in the back row. And now it's Tyler Jackson. Yet another freshman, that word has been used a lot this year for the 49ers, a young squad. And Jackson from Lakewood High School gets the serve over, Pacific to the left side, and it is gonna be a block party, Hampton and Julie. Haley Hampton using that big frame, no chance to get it over there. Aaron Julie there, just along for the ride. As Haley Hampton gets the block. Long Beach State, number three, ranked nationally near the top in blocking, and that's gonna be huge for them tonight. Pacific up the middle, and that's going to be punched wide left. That one there, it, it's not an ace, but it was a great serve for Tyler Jackson. Um, a tough pass to handle. Um, setter Hannah Clancy went up close to the net. Uh, not the best set. Forces the hitting here. Another serve for Jackson, Libero. And to the left side for Pacific, and once again, that's going to be out. It's going to be a long hit. So Long Beach State on a roll, a 4-1 to one lead. And this is something that the Tigers cannot afford to do. You cannot give away free points uh, by hitting the ball long or hitting the ball wide. Jackson keeping the pressure on with that jump serve. Gets it over. Pacific to the right side. And once again, a block. Haley Hampton joins with Iger Swayze this time. 5-1 to one 49ers. They set that one up for Sanders on the back set coming near side. But uh, Iger Swayze and Haley Hampton not fooled. Once again, a block at the net for the Niners. Starting to pull away early. Another serve for Jackson. Bad first pass, and Haley Hampton tries to take care of it. Pacific keeps it up on the second hit, but the third hit is going to go into the scorer's table. Haley Hampton cleaning up a bad pass. So once again, the nothing in the, the stat sheet for Tyler Jackson, but a great serve causes the overpass. Haley Hampton, that's where she feasts. So the freshman Jackson bouncing the ball, gets the whistle. Mentioned the Lakewood High School product. Very highly regarded. Another pass to the left side for Pacific, and it's handled by Ledoux in the back row. Agner Swayze takes a shot, and Pacific stays tough. To the right side for the Tigers. Does that stay in? And uh, no, it doesn't. Wide left, another black and gold point. Head coach Greg Gibbons talking to his team over there, the Pacific head coach. Got to think about a timeout here. Seven to one, the early advantage for Long Beach State. How long will he wait for his team to answer back? Jackson serve is over. Pacific back row from the middle shot. Good dig by Minkle. Wagner Swayze off balance shot. Gets it to the back, but Pacific stays with it. To the left side for them. Good dig by Ledoux up the middle for Hampton. And she powers it down. And uh, there's the uh, timeout I was looking for. As now 8-1, to one. that's enough of a spread uh, for Pacific to need to talk their size. I mean, there's not many teams that tower over Long Beach State. Uh, the 49ers have a pretty tall ball club, but Pacific, maybe their height, height, height disadvantage is taking over. 
Well, and if you have a high disadvantage, one thing you can't do is make mistakes, and uh, that's definitely what they're doing. You gotta be good defensively. We'll see if they can uh, shore that up right here. Back to action, Jackson's serve is over, and Pacific returns it, gets it to the left side, and that is hammered down for a kill. Finally, the Tigers get their second point. Yeah, Megan Birch there able to come through. Found, uh, found some room in the defense, put it just right in front of the back line. Tyler Jackson receives a serve to Julie on the right side for Hampton, blocked but kept alive. Eigner Swayze to Jackson, kind of in no man's land, but Ledoux takes a shot back over to the Tigers. They take a shot from the left side, and it looks like it hit the antenna, and that will be a 49er point. Another hitting error for Pacific, and if that continues, we are gonna, we're gonna have a short night. <laughs> and Long Beach State, I haven't, haven't seen a run of uh, dominance like this in some time, but since Ledoux has come back, it's kind of been that way. Um, Tigers to the left side, Birch once again a shot, but Ledoux there to clean it up. Julie tried to dump it over herself, but gets blocked by the net, and that'll be a uh, Tiger point. The net's tricky, it's very consistent. It's very <laughs> consistent in, in how it can block, and uh, it'll surprise you from time to time, so the dump shot didn't work there, but I'm sure she'll go back to it successfully later on. Three serving nine, Jackson retrieves it, gives it to Julie on the left side to Ledoux, and the steady captain comes through once again. It is 10 to three, 49ers. That had to have been painful. Koala Matsuoka trying to dig that for Pacific, and that one almost going up into the light fixtures. So it's uh, good to see the big swing from Caitlin Ledoux back in the arsenal. I say back again for Ledoux, but that was her first kill. Pacific on the left side, a shot, but Janisa Johnson freshly into the game, keeps it alive, but it looks like that will be too many hits. And 49ers give the point up to the Tigers. So Janisa in the game in the back row. Not quite her fault, but it wasn't the best second pass close to the net. Now bouncing the ball, ready to serve. Sega Applegate. Serve over, it's Minkle to Julie. Janisa's gonna take a shot from the back row, a good one, but handled. Tigers on the left side, and there's the block party again. This time it is the freshman Serna and Julie. Boy, and I'll say this about Alma Serna, she has really impressed uh, in the time that we've seen her. Good on the blocks, moving around, very athletic uh, at 6'3". So a uh, bright future for Alma Serna, wearing number 24 there for the black and gold. Good to see her in the black and gold as well. And a bad first pass for Pacific off the serve, but Elma Serna unsuccessful in trying to wrestle it back over. It's gonna fall over on the 49ers side. Tiger point. A jousting match there, and it, and it falls on the 49ers side of the net. Couldn't quite handle it. That was a, a strange point there. Pacific will take it. Clancy serves it over. Minkle to Julie to Ledoux. Good shot, and it ricochets all the way back to Long Beach State. Julie will set up Mackey this time. A bad time jump, and Pacific stays with it. At the net, who's gonna take care of it? Cerna touches it, but Pacific stays with it. On the left side for Pacific. It's at the net, Mackey keeps it up, and Ledoux puts it over, so we continue. Right side for Pacific, good dig by Julie. Minkel sets up Mackey, the shot, kept alive. Now the Tigers reset on the left side, and it is done, a block. Mackey and Cerna. Wow, that was not textbook volleyball by any stretch. But the 49ers resilient and then using their height and their jumping ability at the net to get the point. Uh, a wild one that keeps the momentum with the 49ers. Two blocks by Long Beach State and uh, the freshman combo. Now play resumes. Julie will set up the left side by her. Swayze blocked and that will fall down. So Pacific gets even with their first team block of the night. Little, still trailed by six. Little miscommunication there for the 49ers. Obviously, uh, some of these players haven't played too much together as Bree Mackey and Caitlin Ledoux kind of uh, looked at each other on that one and watched the ball fall in between them. Uh, that's going to be a service ace for Samantha Misa. Ledoux kind of just caught off guard. She had to lean forward for that one, and it just fell right in front of her. A little bit of a float serve there for Misa, and that, that's what they've got to do. They've got to be crafty and find little ways to sneak points. Another floater, and Ledoux finishes it with a hit, but it's kept alive by the Tigers. On the left side for them, blocked. And once again, another freshman combo block. It's gonna be Serna and Mackey again. I think uh, Haley Hampton, I don't even know if she was supposed to sub in there. She just wanted to start building her stats. <laughs> this was way too much fun to block. I'm, I'm taking you out, Alma, I have seniority. 13-7, <laughs> yeah, Serna comes out of the game. We're back to action. <laughs> Hampton blocks it, but Pacific stays alive. 
another shot this time. They try to go over her hands, and wrong choice. It's hit long. Well, I guess uh, it doesn't matter if you get blocked or if you go long. It's still a point to the 49ers, so that's kind of the presence. You always wonder about the blocking presence of Hampton and, uh, and others, uh, how it affects how other teams swing. Well, Pacific swings and is successful this time. They get their eighth point. It is a 14-8 score here in set number one. Yeah, that one tipping just off the fingertips, so they found the necessary middle ground, and it was uh, a fortunate bounce for the Tigers, um, but they're still down 14-8 here. Haley Hampton goes up in the air and gets the deflection. Kind of jumped a little bit early, but she hung up there and with her right arm swung it down. 15-8. Bree Mackey comes out and in to serve. It was once again the freshman, Tyler Jackson. Yeah, and the 49ers went on a big run earlier in this set when she was serving. We'll see what they can make of this opportunity. Pacific gets it to the right side. Off the hands of Igner Swayze and Ledoux there to dig it out. Jackson up for the left side to Igner Swayze. Not the best set, but the sophomore may do and got the deflection. Yeah, great job there. She was leaning uh, a little off balance there, trying to deal with the antenna. Did a good job not hitting that and uh, giving herself the opportunity and ended up with the kill. Another Jackson serve. Pacific up the middle, blocked, but kept alive. Tigers try it again for the second time on the left. And Tyler Jackson inadvertently kept it up in the air, just not enough. And it'll be a Pacific point. So we've kind of uh, started to cruise a little bit. Long Beach State kind of keeping their five to seven point lead. Hopefully they can coast with that to, to 25. Julie does her part with the set on the left side and Igner Swayze finishes it, so. They are keeping the pace. They go up by eight, you know, 17 to nine. And now in to serve for the first time, I believe, with Janisa Johnson. Second go round for Johnson, but her first time serving. Pacific retrieves it on the left side, tries to push it, but no good. Julie now will set up Hampton, and Hampton tried to go a little too short right there. She hits the net, and there's an attack error. Saw an opening there to, to really cut that ball, but unfortunately cut it too much. The net was unkind. So uh, an error there for Hampton, but she has still had a fantastic uh, first set. Serve is going to be long, and Jackson watches that easily in the back row. 18 to 10, and now uh, Haley Hampton will get her shot serving. Her uh, typical 10 feet behind the service line. Delivering the inbounds pass, if this were <laughs> basketball. <laughs> And dig in the back row by Johnson after Pacific puts it over. Johnson takes a swing and the Tigers stake tough up the middle and that is going to be a shot that goes down by Jennifer Sanders. I feel like we're going to see some aggressive swings from Janisa Johnson in that back line. If that's the only way she's going to get to attack the ball, I think she's going to put all of her strength into all of those shots. She doesn't get cheated much and so far tonight she hasn't as well. Indeed, what's that? Serve is over. Minkle to Julie. Back set to Cerna, who's moving to her right. What a fancy play that was. And there is another Long Beach State point. And that's really how the 49ers can keep that block moving. Uh, the athleticism of Alma Cerna to move to her right like that uh, definitely makes it, uh, makes it tough on the defense. And Julie very apt with the back set, and now she will go back to serve. Six assists in the set for the setter, Julie. Gets a serve over left side for Pacific, and that is going to be wide left. So another attack error for the Tigers. And it is now a 20 to 11 ball game. Another serve for Julie. Hits it over, a barrel to the center, to the left side, and finished. It's gonna be Samantha Misa on the attack. Yeah, really, uh, really strong attack. I think that's the, the strongest swing that we've seen from Pacific here in the first set. Wanting to do more of that, it's a lot easier when Haley Hampton isn't standing in front of you. So, um, very true. Yeah, definitely had that opportunity there. Minkle to Julie to Mackey, blocked but kept alive. Long Beach State will try again, and what a shot by Kaylin LeDoux. Pretty much just staying with the line. Hits it cross court, but barely two or three feet away from the net. Yeah, she, uh, she had two Tigers jumping at her there. She was off balance dealing with the antenna and uh, really cut that shot the way Haley Hampton was trying to earlier and uh, found room uh, along the net. The due serve is over. The Tigers have trouble handling it, and the third hit is just going to be put over. So a free shot, and Long Beach State tries to take advantage. Deflected back to the 49ers on the hit. Mackey takes a tip, and that is going to get down. Wasn't pretty, but Bree Mackey gets the kill. 
Yeah, good hustle trying to keep that one up by Pacific, but you know, two, uh, two players dove at it and kept it up, but then there was no one left to hit it after that. That's, you, you would expect that, a few ups and downs. But recently, a lot of ups. Hopefully, hopefully we can stay on that mountain range. And uh, if you're just joining, we mentioned, but Long Beach State on top in Big West Conference play. Five and two, putting them a half game ahead. A win tonight would definitely keep them comfortably ahead. Ledu gets the action started again with the serve. 22 to 12 in the first set. And Pacific opens up after the timeout with the kill on the right side. Gabby Cowden there getting the back set and getting it through the block. 49ers were there, but um, got through on the deflection and they could not uh, bump the ball up to get it back over. Minkle retrieves the serve, gets it to Julie. Good passing and Mackey tries to finish, but the defense stays tough for the Tigers in the back. Now that shot's gonna be way long and uh, 49ers get their 23rd point easily. Yeah, the Tigers on their attack, we've seen them go long quite a bit, probably worried about that block, and uh, it definitely affects you as a hitter. Back to the top of the serving rotation, Minkle gets it over, left side for Pacific, dug out by Ledoux, or excuse me, deflected by Ledoux back to Pacific, and it's going to be Misa from the back row up the middle, getting the hit for the Tigers. A little bit of back and forth here, but the Niners just one point away from set point. They're leading by nine, 23-14 as the serve floats over. 49ers managed to get that over. Yes, it was barely floated over. The play is finished with Pacific taking their third straight point, a tip that goes over Haley Hampton's outstretched fingertips. So yeah. we'll have to wipe the floor down there as we had some Niners diving on the beach logo. Hampton, it seemed that she was uh, pretty, uh, she jumped pretty gingerly after that kill or that eventual kill by Pacific and I think she was worried about how slippery the floor was. Serve over, Eigner Swayze to Julie, right back to Delaney and she delivers and set point here at the pyramid in set number one. Taggart and Sanders were there on the block for the Tigers but Eigner Swayze put it right between them and straight down to the floor. Great job splitting the defense. So the crowd rises to their feet, a 24 to 15 lead. 49ers trying to capture set number one and there's a collective gasp of disappointment as she hits it right <laughs> into the net. No danger uh, immediately ahead, though. A comfortable 24-16 lead. No one bothers to sit down. It's still set point. Serve is over. That's long. Uh, very unceremonious end to set number one, but it's done. 25-16. 49ers take it to begin this match. I guess one service error deserves another, and that's, uh, that's the way the, the first set will. Such a... Epic collapse near the beginning. Long Beach State looking to keep rolling. I will give one thing for Long Beach State to work on, and it's serve receive on uh, some of the float serves. They did have a problem with that, and, uh, gave up an ace from time to time, and had tr trouble with their passing on some of those floaters. So I think being more prepared for that and being a little more solid on that first pass, um, allowing Erin Julie to set up her hitters, I, I think that's one thing to work on. But as you said, I mean, uh, tough to find something wrong. Uh, with how well they looked in set one. That's an interesting point you make. It does seem like Pacific has given the 49ers a healthy diet of those bloop serves, uh, those floaters as we like to call them. And, and from time to time, it's, it, has, it has shown that the 49ers, you know, once you get really close to the net, it's kind of hard to not let that first pass hit the net or go back over. So Samantha Misa Going to start it off for Pacific with the serve. Whistle is blown. Set number two underway. Mackey to Julie on the left side. Eigner Swayze blocked, but out of bounds. And the 49ers strike first. Pacific there uh, in time to, to bother the uh, the swing of Eigner Swayze, but hands not, not, not turned towards the court, so it went right off and out of bounds. Easy point, Niners. Tyler Jackson will be the first one to serve for the 49ers. Caused a lot of problems for Pacific last time. They set up the middle, and it's, well, the block party is getting started early. Eigner, Swayze, and Hampton make it 2 to nothing, 49ers. Yeah, they, they both went up there. I, I think it, Eigner, Swayze took, got the brunt of that block, but it will be uh, a, an assist for each. Jackson, wasting no time, gets into her serve again. To the left side for the Tigers. They get it through a nice shot. Tried to play off the net by Hampton. And that is going to go to Pacific, 2-1. to one. 
Anthony's got to be careful. That was a little dangerous of an attempt to try to keep that one up. You like the hustle, though. Tigers get the serve over to Jackson. Julie to Hampton running over, blocked, but kept alive. Jackson will act as a setter this time to Eigner Swayze. And it looks like it would be a net violation as Eigner Swayze's hand hit the net on the swing. Yeah, Tyler Jackson at the set there going cross court and it was a little tight to the net. Um, Eigner Swayze on the, on the follow through there at, went into it and just like we talked about, floater serve here for the ace. Give it to Gabby Cowden there serving for Pacific as they have an early lead here in set two. So three straight points for Pacific as they take the 3-2 lead. A bloop serve was the suspect. There's another one. Once again, a tough grab by Minkle to get it to Julie. Eigner Swayze takes a swing, but Pacific hangs tough. Up the middle for the Tigers. They've got four points in a row. We see an adjustment there for Pacific. That's the first quick set we've seen to the middle, not giving Long Beach's block enough time to get set up. Haley Hampton tried to go up and block it, but it was too late as uh, Jennifer Sanders had already put the ball down. So watch out for that. Eigner Swayze to Julie, and Julie tried to dump it over. We're still going, and Pacific puts it back over. Long Beach State sets up to the right side. Hampton over there, and that one is dug out in the back row. Left side, that's going to hit the antenna for Pacific. And the 49ers stop the bleeding, and they get their point. Megan Birch has had some uh, trouble with each antenna thus far in this match. Uh, another set that went too far close here to the scorer's table right in front of us. And uh, just no angle to get that one in the court. Janisa Johnson serves over. They go back to Birch on the left side. Blocked but kept alive. Up the middle to Misa. Her shot not very good. Julie gives it to Hampton. Good dig. And Pacific to the right side. Good dig by Johnson in the back. Julie on the left side to Ledoux. And the captain can't even get it done. We're still going. Misa on the third hit is going to put it over for Pacific. So a free ball for Long Beach State. And Ledoux takes a swing. And Pacific stays tough. On the left side for Birch. Good dig by Minkle. Julie to Janisa. Dug out, but back over to Long Beach State. They'll try again. This time to Ledoux. Drop shot. Back over to Long Beach State on the tip. Back to Ledoux. The swing. We're still going here. Misa takes a swing from the back row. <laughs> Not going to get over, and what a way to end it. That is the longest point I've seen all season. Everyone is all smiles there. <laughs> if the net had been a little more kind, we would still be playing that point. A, a passing display from both teams. Digs and passes just perfectly on point. Eventually, the luck favors the 49ers. Birch on the left side for the Tigers. And it looks like, no, it is out. Oh. It's going to be a long shot and make that a wide right shot by Caitlin Ledoux. I thought that was going to fall down to the floor. But Ledoux gets a shot off. It just does not stay in the court. Not enough top spin um, for Ledoux. It kind of hung up a little bit and went off the Walter Pyramid logo right in front of us. 5-4 to four Pacific. That serve is going to be strong. And it goes out. And we're tied up at 5. So Pacific, after that long point, wished they would have won that, obviously. And then... Starting to get some momentum with the, the air for the 49ers, but then you just give it right back with a service error. Tigers cannot give freebie points. They, uh, they need to be flawless if they're going to want to beat the 49ers tonight. They get it to the right side, and Pacific gets on the board. They lead at 6-5. So far, Pacific, it was 8-1 at one point. 49ers last set, but here, Pacific hanging tough, leading by one. Julie up the middle from the back row to Janisa, and that's going to be a back row and hit. Back row violation on Janisa. 7-5 to five Pacific. Janisa Johnson obviously anxious, wanting to, to pick up some kills, um, not having the opportunity to play on the net. She does not have a kill yet. We expect that to change, and uh, something that we might not expect to change, another service error for Pacific. They need to rectify that if they want any chance of staying in this match. Been a lot of them for the Tigers. Still lead it seven to six. Aaron Julie punches it over on the serve. Set to left side for Misa, and she will get the touch. Another Pacific point. They go up by two again. Great job by Misa, just seeing the block, uh, but with a window. She put it right off of Bree Mackey's right hand and out of bounds. So a good job. Um, Janice Johnson, very crafty with doing that for the beach, hitting it off the block and letting it go out. Minkle gets the serve, gives it to Julie up the middle from the back row to Janisa this time. 
It's deflected back to Long Beach State. Alma Serna will take a shot this time up the middle, and she puts it down. Had the block in front of her there, did Serna, but uh, observed the floor, put her right hand on the ball, and just directed it to the opening uh, to pick up the kill there in the middle. Her second kill of the match. So the 49ers trailing by one. Caitlin Ledoux now will get a shot from behind the service line. Gets it over. Clancy will set up the left side, and there's the block. Bree Mackey, she got pretty much all of it. Alma Serna was there. I'm sure, I'm sure they'll give Serna a block assist, and it doesn't look like they do. So Mackey all by herself. Yeah, with the solo block there and with authority. To the left side for Pacific. The shot, is that, does that stay in the line is the question. No, it doesn't. It's going to be just a bit long. Caitlin Ledoux watched that go. She didn't know if it was going to stay fair or not. And it stays within the lines. 49ers back up, 9-8. to eight. Caitlin serves it over. Clancy to the left side for Miso. They've been going there a lot, and it's successful. Yeah, a little tip shot there. Aaron Julie laid out, um, was able to keep it off the floor, but it, it was punched over to the courtside seats across from us, and no chance to keep that alive. Tied up at nine, the setter Clancy gets it to Mackey on the extreme loop serve. Ledoux from the back row, and that will be too many hits on Pacific's <laughs> end. And I thought, they thought that they already had too many hits. That third hit was kind of just a little nonchalant touch. But anyways, Ledoux gets the kill. 10 to nine, 49ers. Lauren Minkle gets it over with the serve. Clancy sets up the middle, the shot. Kept alive on the second touch, but no one's going to get the third hit. So Long Beach State gives up a point. We're tied up at 10. If Brian Jumalaro were an active player, he might have been able to knock that one over. But uh, no such luck for Long Beach State. <laughs> tied up at 10, Misa gets the serve over. Really, Hampton winds up and absolutely crushes that ball. Oh, they're going to need the jaws of life to get that one out of the floor. I would not want to be... Uh, on the defending side of that hit, no one wanted to get near that one, and it falls and finds wood real quick. Uh, abused. Wow, my goodness. That windup was intimidating. 11 to 10, serve over Pacific on the left side, and, well, they get the shot off of Haley Hampton's head. And it's there, a tiger point. Very much celebrating that point, because not often have they gone into the Haley Hampton Lions Den, as it were, and come out unscathed with a point, but there they did to tie it at 11. But two retrieves a serve to Julie. On the left side, Eigner Swayze and the sophomore fires a bullet through. It got the touch. It looked like it was going to stay in anyway. And the 49ers go up by one. So set number two. A lot more drama here going on. We're still reaching the halfway mark, but 12 to 11. Pacific hanging in there, making it interesting. And there is a point given up, a freebie point to Pacific as Johnson gets a service error. A lot of ties thus far in this set, really, really back and forth. A lot, not similar at all to set number one. 49ers taking that one easily. Got to hand it to the Tigers for coming back with a vengeance here in set number two. Hampton comes back with a vengeance and gets the side out for Long Beach State on the right side. The uh, sixth kill, make that the fifth kill for the middle blocker, and she will go back to uh, serve things. 13 to 12, serve is over, and it is a service ace for Haley Hampton. They found the perfect pocket. Yeah, definitely, they, could, they couldn't handle that serve there for whatever reason, and uh, Haley, the defending Big West Player of the Week, she earned that honor, and what a beauty, a bloop serve that wow. just reaches over the net, but Pacific plays it perfectly. And the dump shot by Clancy is going to be good. That was interesting. She put <laughs> quite the uh, the St. Louis arch serve oh, yeah. came down, and then a well well executed dump shot there for Clancy. 14, 13, 49ers. Julie Sterna moving to her right. Back over to the net, and Sterna's <laughs> going to clean it up. A bad first pass deflected close to the net, and Elma Serna just touches it down. Yeah, an overpass serves as an alley oop as the Tigers take a timeout. Elma Serna just. And then now we've already seen eight tie scores. So these teams really going back and forth in set two. And we're still very early at 15 to 13. So you can see a big difference in the level of competitiveness 
uh, in the two sets that we've seen. Look for Long Beach State's blocking presence to come out. They had five blocks in set number one. Here in set number two, they've had two. But a few more of those can help them out. Uh, there's almost one. Ledoux touches it, but back to Pacific. Johnson digs it out in the back, gets it to Julie, and Ledoux takes a swing, and it finally goes down after a couple of bounce arounds. 16-13. This is a, a big moment in the match for Pacific. They need to stay in this set right here. An important side-out opportunity for them. Another serve over. Clancy back sets it to the right side. Tipped and kept alive by Julie in the back. Serna takes a little tap. And Pacific stays tough. Misa takes a swing from the left side. Up the middle for Elma Serna. And it just is, goes right back to Long Beach State. Back to Serna. And this time, she is successful. 17-13. Yeah, great job there um, by Alma Serna. Just so explosive on the jump on the first, second, and third tries there. there. And she's great in the air, just getting her hand on the ball, getting as much behind it, and putting it where she really wants it to go. Makes it tough on the defense. Now we have a charge timeout. First, last time out that we had was, a, you know, you make it a three-set match. Who knows what could happen after the intermission, but at this point, if they go down two sets to none, uh, you can expect to have an early evening here at the Pyramid. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Got to take care of business here in set two. 49ers just a four-point lead, but uh, if they can you know, keep this run going, certainly they are on the doorstep of putting this set away. So we are back to business here. The whistle is blown, timeout is done, and we're back to action. Pacific off the first power, excuse me, first serve. Do not get things started well. The first pass from the libero is close to the net, and who better than Alma Serna to put it down for the kill? Alma Serna all smiles in this match. She's really having her way in this one. 18 to 13 now. Pacific, they need a point here. Get it to the left side, and it is going to be Samantha Misa who comes through. Great job there from Misa. She had Bree Mackey in front of her, saw Alma Serna coming uh, from her right, and put it right in the gap between those two players finding room on the floor, so a great job to get the side out and end the 49er run. Tigers down by four, a bloop serve, almost successful. Mackey puts it up for the second hit, third hit is put over. So Pacific gets a free ball in their favor, and the setter, Clancy, dump shots it right into Alma Serna's face, but Alma Serna's arms touch it down on the wrong side. Yeah, we mentioned those float serves. Great job by Minkle to get that one up, but unfortunately could not mount an attack because of the success of the float serve. Serna tries to put it over with a little fancy hook shot. Hook hit, you could say, but it's unsuccessful. So now all of a sudden, Tigers are down by two. 16 serving 18. And you can expect uh, Sega Applegate with another floater. Here it comes. Minkle to Julie to Mackey. Side out Long Beach State. That was a big point for the 49ers. I would have breathed some life, some more life into Pacific had they gotten the point. But Long Beach State comes out. They had an opportunity to get the dig there. Uh, Katie Tagart was there, but she couldn't handle it. An aggressive swing from Mackey uh, to give the beach the point. Ledoux serves. Clancy sets up the middle back row. Good dig by Julie in the back. Mackey to Eigner Swayze, blocks but kept alive. Over to Mackey on the left side, make that the right side, and she is blocked. Pacific hangs tough, down by two. The Tigers show a little growl there. They can, they can get some blocks at the net every now and again, not to the level of the 49ers. Uh, but we've seen a couple here in set two, and they're just down by a couple trying to make things interesting. Serna takes a swing, blocked again, but kept alive. Eigner Swayze takes a swing, blocked again, but once again alive. Now Mackey takes a swing. It gets through, but Pacific Kings tough. On the right side for them. Back to Long Beach State. Back row keeps it alive. Ledoux takes a swing block, but kept alive. Serna takes a shot. Back to Pacific. Up the middle, and it is Serna who does the blocking, and it goes down. 20 to 17. Wow. A lot of net play on both sides uh, during that rally, but eventually Alma Serna, uh, the authoritative solo block in the middle, and now with Haley Hampton back in, we'll see what she can do at the net. Pacific retrieves the serve, and it is going to be the... Left hitter, outside hitter, Misa once again coming through with the point to keep them within two. So a side out for Pacific. Still two points away, and we are 
Running out of time here. Running out of points, I should say. Minkle to Julie to Hampton. Oh my goodness. I think you need those jaws of life again to pry that ball loose. The jaws oh. of life, Christian. Wow. Again, she's, I mean, she's denting the floor. The basketball team's going to start twisting their ankles when they practice. Oh, that was nasty. 21 to 18 off the resounding hit by Hampton. Tyler Jackson in to serve. Gets it over. Clancy to the right side at Pacific. It's just back and forth, back and forth right now. They stay within two again on the right side hit. I'm curious to see what the biggest lead in this set has been. I mean, it's been really right around. Uh, it's been that four-point lead that Long Beach State had after the timeout. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. Julie gets to Agner Swayze. She tries to dump shot it over. Unsuccessful. And uh, the 49ers did not realize that the whistle had blown and Haley Hampton with, with the swing over the net going off of uh, one of the Tigers there. That's dangerous. Well, luckily, they stayed uh, <laughs> vigilant. <laughs> Sneak attack. If you're not ready for it, that can knock you out. So Pacific down by one. Hampton with the hit. That's going to be wide right. And the Tigers, in the blink of an eye, have tied this thing up. And now uh, Brian Gimilaro needs a timeout for his squad. Uh, that four-point lead that they had. And then really let Aaron Julius survey the floor and give a quality set to their hitters. I think that the beach will be okay. Um, you would expect some more float serves that they're going to have to deal with. The onus is on Lauren Minkle, responsible for the middle of that floor. Bumpy State would like a side out right off the bat. Well, they don't even need to do that. They are helped with the freebie point. Service error. Yeah, the floater did not have enough float, as it were. It hit the tape and came back. I think every ball that's hit the tape has stayed on that side. It has not had any lead in it. Not been a friendly net. Served by Johnson is over left side. And that is going to get through. It's Megan Birch. Gets the side out for the Tigers, and they tie it back up at 22. Katie Taggart serving it. Line drive serve gets it to Johnson. Julie back set to Hampton, and it's kept alive in the back row. Another shot on the left side for Pacific. No good. Now a left shot hit for Ledoux. Kept alive. Just going to be put over. Right? I don't even think... That she had any intention, Birch had any intention of that falling down, but she gets a hit. She gets a kill, I mean. Yeah, and another timeout from Brian Gimilaro is the 40 in that. It was still some miscommunication, a little disjointed. Uh, my, my expectation is that they'll go back to Caitlin Ledoux. That's your senior. Um, she had an opportunity there. She's put some good swings on the ball. Um, but let's see if she can be crafty with either just the tip over or p to really hammer one home. Julie sets it right to Ledoux. You're right, but Ledoux miss hits it. And it is going to just stream along the net. An attack error by the usually very consistent Ledoux. And all of a sudden, Pacific, one point away from taking set number two. 24-22 set point. Serve is over. 49ers need a point. Fight at the net. They get it. Hampton winds up, and she will get the clutch swing. Good job by Aaron Julian. It was the 50-50 you know, ball at the net. It came down on their side. She bumped it up. And then Haley Hampton off the block going out wide. So the 49ers still alive here. They're going to need to play tough defense here. Pacific with the swing. Could end it. Good dig by Johnson in the back. Julie on the left side to Ledoux. Good tip and good defense by Pacific. They take another swing. And that's going to go back over. Fall out of bounds. And Pacific rejoices on the court. They take set number two after a 17 to 14 deficit it was at one point. It looked like they were uh, headed to go down 0-2. Other set, set number two, Pacific came back and took it in the end, 25 to 23. So set number three, about to get started. Both teams with players on the floor. Long Beach State looks like they're going with the same crew that they went with in set one and two. Yeah, and, and, and a crew that, that definitely should be able to handle themselves in this match. It just, you know, it takes a certain degree of mental focus and consistency. Had it in set one, let it lapse in set number two. But I think uh, being on this side of the floor, back, uh, back to try to develop the same vibes that they had early on, uh, they have an opportunity to do that. And I, I think they'll take this set in four. That's my prediction. 
but um, obviously that's wishful thinking on my end, but no reason to think that it can't be done, and Lauren Minkle getting ready to start it off. Well, Pacific played uh, out of their minds in the second set, at least it seemed. They're going to have to keep up a high level of play, and well, they do just that to open up. They get it to the right side, and the Tigers strike first. They lead it one nothing. Yeah, and they went back to their target there. They uh, have Megan Birch really with uh, playing at a high level right now in this match, so they went right back to her, and she got it off the block, and then a, a miss hit there on the serve. Delaney Agner Swayze unable to handle it, and a quick 2-0 lead for the Tigers. Not a pretty start for the 49ers after the first two chances. Here's the third. Agner Swayze gets it to Julie to Hampton, and a much cleaner play right there as Hampton smacks another one down. Well, that's the difference. It's the good pass on the serve receive. Agner Swayze got it to Julie. She had the opportunity to uh, set up the playmaker, Hampton, and um, she delivers the wrist breaker for the kill. Now Tyler Jackson in her jump serve. Got it over. Pacific on the left side, blocked, and does it go down? Yes, it does. Haley Hampton, Aaron Julie will team up for that effort. Ninth team block for Long Beach State on the match. And this is set number three, folks. That's a lot of blocks. Another Jackson serve. Too close to the netter. Oh, and it does cause a violation. It is a net violation on Pacific. I thought the setter Clancy got it off without touching the net, but I was wrong. Just a little bit of a bump there and made the, the net wiggle. Uh, another impact of that great jump serve from Tyler Jackson. Three straight points for the 49ers. Make that four as I hear Swayze cleans up a bad Pacific pass. And all of a sudden now, after dropping the first two points, they are up four to two. Running the gauntlet of what happens off of a good serve. You know, it runs your, makes it tough on your setter. Sometimes she hit the net, you get an overpass. And then now do you get an ace? Not quite. <laughs> Pacific to the right side. Did they keep it in? Yes, they did, just barely. Yeah, good pass there, handling the serve, and then Jennifer Sanders had the opportunity and uh, went to the opposite corner there, getting the kill. So uh, four to three now, the 49er lead here early in set number three. Serve skims the net, but gets over. Minkle to Julie to Hampton. She got the touch. Hampton's happy about it. Yeah, she makes sure to help out the chair ref as soon as she let go of that, that swing. Uh, she put her hands up signaling the touch and <laughs> everyone in agreement to give her give uh, her team the point. Ninth kill for Hampton to lead all players. Serves over. Clancy sets it way over to the left side. Minkle a diving dig to Hampton. Blocked. So it doesn't go as a Minkle dig. Instead, it goes as a block for Pacific as Hampton is denied. 49ers still with the one-point edge, five to four. Taste of uh, her own medicine there in the middle for Hampton, uh, getting it blocked right back in her face. Yes, indeed. Long Beach State on the attack. Hampton's hit his dugout. Now a tip kept alive for Long Beach State. Ledoux will take the swing, blocked, but kept alive. Minkle to Julie. To Janisa, miss hit it a little bit. It's close to the net, and Kitten Ledoux will rise up and clean it up. Yeah, that, uh, that miss hit there on the dig attempt, and uh, Ledoux reached up for it and uh, was able to spin it down to the right to get the kill as Alma Cerna checks back into the lineup for the beach. Oh, Minkle out, Cerna in, and back to serve to inbound the basketball, as you said, Tyler. Haley Hampton, long serve is over. Clancy will set up the right side, but it's just going to be a three ball. Hampton puts it up in the air, too close to the net. And Hampton, unhappy with herself, knows she has to check out. She will check out, unhappily so. Yeah, that was uh, a poor effort. Uh, just a ball just really set over um, the gingerest of free balls and her pass high in the sky and floated to the Pacific side of the net. Not what she wanted to do there. Not at all. Jackson to Julie to Cerna. The freshman combo doesn't get it done, but is back to Long Beach State. Senior Ledoux takes a swing, and Pacific stays tough. They take a swing from the right side. Good dig by Jackson. Now Ledoux with a hard hit, but deflects right back to Long Beach State. Chance to do it again. Back to Ledoux, the tip. Kept in the air on the diving save. Misa takes a swing, and did she get the touch? Yes, oh. she did. And Long Beach State, not happy about it. Aaron Julia, I believe, was the one who they said it touched. And she is perplexed. We're tied at six. 
Yeah, an interesting point there, but uh, the Tigers will take it to tie us up. Serna jumped way too early on the set. It's going to be too many hits on Long Beach State's end. And all of a sudden, we just have some lack of communication, maybe just some lack of execution is what it is. And the Tigers retake the lead 7-6. to six. Yeah, setter Aaron Julie having a tough time right now connecting with her hitters. Uh, Got to rectify that. Julie gets it to Ledoux, who pounds it into the net, but it goes over. Pacific has it. They take a little shot, but it is handled. Serna takes a swing, maybe a bit rushed. And it is going to go to Pacific as it goes wide left. So the Tigers up 8-6. to six. Yeah, the beach looking, unfortunately, much the way they did uh, towards the end of set two. A little discombobulated, and the Tigers hanging right in this one. They get it to Serna. wasn't pretty, but she gets it done this time. But yeah, all of a sudden, 49ers here in set number three. Not looking too good, but they get the point, and hopefully they can turn it around right here. Aaron Julie to serve. 49ers trailing by one. And the serve is over. Misa to Clancy. Back to Misa on the left side. And she comes through. Her attack percentage has been steadily increasing as this match goes on. She has 10 kills to lead all players. And that attack percentage in the positive at 190. And now we have a wet spot on the floor that needs to be needs to be handled as uh, one, of the, uh, one of the 49ers went to dive for that one. And Luckily, Trevor Douglas is there to go out and uh, clean the floor and make things safe for our players here. Always appreciated. It's been a lot of that in this game, a lot of diving around. Julie gets it to Serna, and this one is a pretty shot by Serna. It's been a while since she's hit it so squarely, but that one definitely squared it up. Indeed, yeah, she's been forced to kind of take some, some tips or uh, hook shots, as, as you've said before, but that one she was really able to put some power behind it to get the kill. And the deuce serve sails over. Clancy gets it to the right side. A hard hit, and it is going to stay in. Wow. Hard shot on the right side. I don't know how that stayed in, but it did. And that's, that's more what, what these coaches are wanting to see. Uh, pass set and uh, a strong attack that goes down. More, more prototypical volleyball. Back to Cerna. Another good shot from the freshman, but Pacific hangs tough. They get it to the right side. Ledoux there to dig it out and pass it up front. Mackey takes a swing, but Pacific stays tough. Up the middle, Minka decided to let it go, and a bad choice by the libero as it stays in the lines. Tigers up by three, 11 to eight. Yeah, Coach Jim Malaro here trying to calm his team down, just make sure they're relaxed and get a side out here. Ledoux from the back row, a hard shot, but once again, some opposition on the defense from the Tigers. They take a shot from the left, and it just misses. Line ref right on the call. Yeah, Ledoux there in the back row saw that that one was likely going to go long, got out of the way, and she was rewarded just barely. Nine serving 11. Back to Lauren Minkle serving. It's over. Clancy will set up the left side. The swing kept up in the air. Bad pass by Ledoux, and there's a whistle. It's going to be a double contact violation on Aaron Julie. And on that one, when um, you know you're going to have to jump into the net and avoid that, you'd like to see kind of the continuation jump, so jump, uh, dump shot, excuse me, where you just have it going towards the net and you just kind of propel it uh, over and down. But uh, she opted to try to set up one of her players, and it kind of backfired. Eigner Swayze gets the side out for the 49ers on the next play on the left side. The seventh kill, make that the eighth kill for the sophomore. The 49ers have some work to do. Down by two. 10 serving 12, and Tyler Jackson, it's her spot back behind the service line. A good thing for the 49ers. Freshman serve is over. Clancy will set up the left side for the Tigers, blocked, and finally a block goes down. Yeah, that's back to what we saw in uh, the first set. Haley Hampton, a force at the net with her blocks, and uh, about the same time we were seeing that, we were seeing the Tyler Jackson jump serve, uh, the 49ers have really done well with her behind the line. Another serve by Jackson to the right side for Pacific, and it stays in the line. Ledoux electing to let that one go, and once again, that choice has come back to haunt the 49ers. So Several of those have kept, uh, excuse me, have uh, resulted in Tiger points. It looked like that one actually was off a touch, so it looked like it would still be a Tiger point as they give one away here on the service error as that floats long. 
but uh, the 49ers on defense a little unsure of themselves right now. So back to Long Beach State on the service there. Janisa Johnson gets the serve over. Misa from the back row. I don't understand how that found the floor, but it did. Not a very good hit by Misa in the back. But Aaron Julia, a half-hearted attempt as that one was just hit right in no man's land. No one was there. And it goes down 14 to 12 Tigers. She tried to backtrack off the net and make the, uh, the diving dig, but unable to come up with it. It was right in the middle uh, of that 49er defense. Megan Birch serving. Jackson to Julie to Hampton. Kept alive, Pacific takes a swing, back to them. Hampton tries to touch it. Messy play, Pacific has it. Blocked, back to Pacific. They take a swing from the left side and it's dug out by Jackson. Hampton up the middle, kept alive by the Tigers. Right side hit. Jackson to Julie to Ledoux. Oh, finally it's done. Caitlin Ledoux with the fireball right at Nisa's head. Nisa got her hands up to block it, but Unsuccessfully, that was just self-defense. That was that was just self-defense. She wasn't worried about getting the dig. She was worried about not taking one off the dome. <laughs> Hampton serve is over. 49ers trailing by one. Misa takes a little shot, hits the net, or excuse me, hits the hands of Aaron Julie and falls down to the ground. And uh, we've got a media timeout here as the Tigers get to 15 points. Two was lost to Pacific. I mean, they've been in it and been out of it, but it hasn't just been extremely intense as Long Beach State has visibly uh, struggled at times. 15-13, whistle is blown, we're back to action. Pacific with the serve, it's a bloop one. Minkle to Julie, to Ledoux. And once again, a Pacific dig in the back row, they stay alive. Shot from the left side, Minkle has it. Back over to Long Beach State on a messy play, now back to Pacific. They'll set up the middle, blocked, but kept alive. Pacific tries again to the left side, and it's good. Well, you can't give them that, that many chances. Nisa on the left side finishes it. Janisa Johnson there, thinking that one was going to go long, really didn't have too much of a chance to dig it. Um, but the official was right there and ruled that it was in. On the left side for Ledoux, and she will finally get the side out for Long Beach State. 49ers trailing by two. Jackson comes out of the game. I want to see a set here for Janisa Johnson. I, she hasn't had too many swings uh, in this set, but I want to give her an opportunity from the back row uh, and get her on the board here. Still no kills for JJ. Crowd looking for a double contact call. Play resumes. Long Beach State has it. Mackey takes a swing, and it's kept alive. Misa takes a swing from the left. That's the girl you want to keep the ball hand. Uh, the, and off the ball, and she takes a shot from the left side. Once again, she's successful. She just keeps doing it. 14 kills for Misa. And the Tigers up by three. Yeah, she's really stepping her game up right here, leading her Tigers to a, a, a lead here in the middle of the set. And this one eventually will bounce around and down on Pacific side. Alma Serna getting the kill. Serna going ambidextrous on us with her left hand, it looks like, putting that one down. So the 49ers trailing by two, 17 to 15. Caitlin Ledoux back to serve. Pacific just playing some good ball right now. On the left side to Misa, blocked. And that is exactly what Long Beach State needs. Cerna landed pretty poorly on that block and grimacing out there. You hope she's okay. Yeah, she, she came down a little awkwardly. Uh, a bit of a grimace there on her face. She hobbles around a little bit, but she'll stay in there. 49ers trailing by one to the left side again. Dug out by Minkle. Way to be there in the back. Now Ledoux from the back row. A hard shot for Pacific's defense stays alive. Back to Long Beach State. Minkle to Julie to Cerna. A hard shot. Tigers stay with it. Cerna touches it down, and that's going to end it. Long Beach State completes the three straight points, and they... Tied it up at 17 out of nowhere. The ever-prepared Alma Serna, if anything is in her area uh, above the net, she will jump up there and just pat it straight down. Tied at 17, serve over. Left-handed shot, bad shot by Pacific. Now Mackey will take a shot, blocked. 
Back to Long Beach State. A little shot by Kaylin Ledoux. Picture perfect drop shot by the captain. And 18 to 17 lead for the 49ers with the timeout call. Yeah, that'll get the crowd into Luna up there with nine kills. That's a lot for her. She's had plenty of opportunities as uh, the 49er net dominance has been apparent, uh, but they can't put enough uh, enough together and enough points in a row to really silence this uh, scrappy Pacific team. We saw Cerna land awkwardly after a block, and she was grimacing out there, but she returns on the court after the timeout. So the freshman is having quite a game. Stays in there. He cleans up the pass right there. I don't know what the call was. If it was a back row hit or something. Anyways, 49ers get the point off the timeout, 1917. And speaking of those kills for Alma Cerna, those, uh, that's now she's credited with 10 kills as uh, this net, the serve just tips over the net, and it's blocked up and, and shoved over there by the Niners. Pacific has it now on the right side. Did they get the touch? No, they didn't. And the 49ers go up by three, 20 to 17. The team is alive right now, and those 10 kills for Alma Cerna, a career high. Her previous high was eight, so that's her first time uh, at that mark, first double-digit kill per uh, performance for a freshman Alma Cerna. So a great game for her. Pacific up the middle, and they caught Kate will do on her heels in the back row. She was pretty much the lone 49er back there, and she just could not move to her right side. And you wonder if the injuries that she has sustained play into that. Well, yeah, and, and more of an opportunity at the net, obviously, Janisa Johnson limited to just back row duty. And uh, thank you to Roger Kirk for providing that statistic to us. Mackey on the right side, uh, back over to Long Beach State, blocked, but back over to Pacific. Now Ledoux gets it to Agner Swayze, a shot in the back row, kept alive. Clancy sets up the middle for Misa, and Alma Serna has been the story here in set number three. She stuffs one down herself. Alma goes up and says, yes, Serna, I am taking care of business right now. And the 49ers with an opportunity here. The crowd is buzzing. Lauren Minkel serving 21, serving 18. Up the middle for Pacific. Good dig by Julie. Minkel puts it in the air. Ledoux swings. And the Tigers stay tough. On the right side for Pacific. Blocked but kept alive. They put it up in the air. Shot from the back row from Misa. Handled by Ledoux. Julie to Hampton. And she almost fought it through. Double contact, violation on Pacific anyways. It goes to 49ers, they lead it 22-18. And uh, Pacific's gonna need a timeout here. They're down with those 10 kills. She has five kills alone in this set. So keep in mind, her, her career high in kills was eight, and she's got five in this set. So uh, after the intermission, they definitely went to the freshman and asked her to, to lead her team to victory, and she's done it thus far. Shows you the strength of the freshman class that Long Beach State has. Coming right off the timeout, Pacific comes out strong and gets the kill. Megan Birch able to find uh, an opening there and, and hit it cross court, bouncing towards the 49er coaching staff. Still a three-point lead, though, for the beach. Loop serve. Winkle, Minkle gets it. To the left side for Delaney Agner Swayze back to Swayze who takes a swing. And now Pacific handles it on the left. Birch takes a swing, blocked, but kept alive. Pacific up the middle. Did it stay in? Yes, it did. It, it no. did not. It was, oh. uh, the near side uh, referee had it in, but uh, cross court, um, the other judge that's far from us had it out. So uh, it will go point to the Niners. A big swing there, uh, making it 23-19 for the beach with uh, Tyler Jackson serving. They've got their sights set on set three. Jackson forces a lot of bad passes and they like her at the center position right now. Back over to Long Beach State and Haley Hampton is blocked. It's that design play, Hampton moving to her right and deflected off her body. I don't know if it would have stayed in bounds on the block, but after it hit her body, that ensured Pacific's block. Yeah, Hampton frustrated on that one and uh, her attacking has not been quite on point here in this third set. Eigner Swayze takes a swing, cross-court shot. Enough top spin to keep that one between the lines. Crowd rises to their feet in set number three at the set point for the 49ers. A chance to take a two-to-one set advantage here at home. To wrap up this three-game set. 24-20. Jim Lau not liking the time that the ref is taking. All of a sudden, you can hear a pin drop here at the pyramid. 
or your voice. Or my voice. Only one talking. There you go. <laughs> On the left side for Pacific, they take a swing, dugout, here is the chance. Ledoux takes a swing, off the deflection, they keep it a lot. To the right side for Pacific, blocked. Balancing act on the net, but back over to Long Beach State. Ledoux, the drop shot, touch, back to Long Beach State. Back to Ledoux, his third time a charm, yes he is. Set number three in the books, a very messy play at the end, but Caitlin Ledoux, Three time is a charm for the captain. 25 to 20 is the final score in set number three. Uh, two kills, limited chances, but uh, you know, Lee Mackey, Eigner Swayze, they're gonna have to step up in set number four if they're gonna wanna take this one with ease. So now the teams are both on the floor, Pacific all ready to go. Long Beach State in the huddle. And uh, the score of the ALCS MLB game was announced as Texas. I don't know if they completed the game, but they were leading 13 to four at some point. Uh, during intermission, I went on MLB.com and was very disappointed to learn that the Rangers are most likely going on to the World Series. Tigers fan? Not so much a Tigers fan other than a Ranger hater. 15 to five the score in that game. A Ranger hater? Oh my. In the bottom of the eighth inning. So 15 to five, bottom of the eighth. Yes, Tyler, I'm, a, I'm an Angels fan at heart, I'll say that. Okay, um, all right, and uh, Texas, you know, I'd like to see the Tigers. They've been a scrappy team. Doesn't look good for them right now. I know. It doesn't look good for the Tigers. Uh, I'd, I'd say it's over. Trying to close this one out for either Tigers. Yeah, the other Tiger team avoiding elimination. And, well, these Tigers don't start off well as the 49ers get the first point. Haley Hampton goes on. Nelson Cruz jumping up with the big block in the middle, uh, getting the beach off to a good start in the fourth. Her boomstick makes it go down for the kill. Jackson with the serve. It's over on the left side, and there's a block. Haley Hampton looking big in set number four. Julian Hampton teaming up for that one. Two to nothing, 49ers. She says the Nano, and it's a lot of fun watching Haley Hampton uh, play volleyball. When she succeeds, she's just all smiles and has so much fun out there. Definitely a very emotional player out there for better or for worse. Another block, but kept alive by Pacific this time. Left side, another block, but they keep it alive again. And now Misa takes a swing from the back row. Long Beach State controls. Eigner Swayze with the shot. The whistle stops to play dead. And it's gonna be too many hits on the Tiger side. I don't know if that was the right call. Give him the ne uh, net call there. That's what it was, net yeah, call. Someone into the net. It. it wasn't too many hits. So a three to nothing, 49er lead, good start. Tyler Jackson forces a bad first pass. It's gonna be a back row hit for Pacific. Long Beach State controls. Ledoux with the back Ooh. row hit. Good dig, but a nice hit by Ledoux. Right side shot for Pacific, and finally, they get on the scoreboard. Yeah, able to find some room um, over the line. That was a tremendous dig from Ledoux's attack. You probably hear it um, <laughs> from where you're sitting at home. Big time swing, but the Tigers able to handle it. Cowden serve is going to get into the net. Long Beach State with the free point, four to one. And she struggled with that. Um, we've seen her have some success with her uh, float serve, but then uh, that's the second one uh, that we've seen hit the tape and come back. Janisa Johnson serving gets it over. Left side for Pacific, good dig by Johnson in the back. Minkle brings it forward, and the third hit by Ledoux is a good wow. Grabbed that one from behind her and just put a laser beam right through the court. Well, and she hit it on the way down, and uh, it's not easy. Not too far off the floor. I'm really not sure how that happened, but that was perfect shot from Ledoux. Ledoux good at making something out of nothing. She did right there, but then Pacific comes back with the side out here on the right side. Jennifer Sanders picking up the kill there. The two to excuse me, two serving five score. There's Katie Taggart back to serve. Julie gets the set over to the left side for Ledoux, and the captain puts it down, 11th kill for her. She's taking the lead for Long Beach State. Four players now in double digits and kills for the black and gold. That's Ledoux, Hampton, Agner, Swayze, and Cerna. Haley Hampton waiting the whistle. She gets it. Hammers the servo to the right side. And that's going to stay in. Pacific gets the kill. 
Sanders, Sanders, Sanders. Yeah, pick, he's picking up her ninth kill there. Just uh, just one Tiger in double digits, and that's uh, that's Misa with her 14, and that leads the match. Well, Dude takes a shot from the left side. It's way in the back corner. They bring it forward on the second hit, third hit. It's going to be a three ball over to Long Beach State. Serna winds up, and she will not be denied. It is going to go down after a couple deflections. Seven to three. Long Beach State keeping up the intensity here in set number four. Coming, looking good out of the gate. Well, and you wonder if uh, Pacific running a little bit out of gas and a little short on confidence as uh, an error in the back row gives the ace to Aaron Julie, and they're going to go ahead and take a timeout, Pacific is, as uh, they're down 8-3 to three as the set things start to not go your way. It happened in set one. Is it happening in set four? The 49ers on a bit of a run trying to really seal the deal, and Aaron Julie still on serve. Eight serving three. They have an opportunity to do that right here. Long Beach State came out firing here in set number four, hitting 571. We're back to action. Pacific retrieves the serve, and on the right side, it is going to be another Sanders kill. As the volleyballs are not a souvenir for fans in the front row, they will be asked to return those. <laughs> it is, after all, a public uh, university, so we would love uh, we would love to make sure that we could keep all of our volleyballs. <laughs> I don't blame them. I love I love when those ones get hit to me. Oh goodness! I'm ready. And there is a bad service error. Oh goodness is right. Yeah, that one usually serves don't hit the bottom tape of yeah. that, and that one kind of that one just it floated into that. So yeah, you're gonna have to uh, go back and work on that. Work on that one. Bloop serves can look genius at times, and then they can look, look just downright ugly. That and it was a ladder right there. That bloop serve turned into a blooper serve. Yeah. Unfortunately, it did. And uh, Mises' attack gets blocked. She gets another chance. Back over to Long Beach State. Julie puts it up. Eigner Swayze, just a little tap over. Pacific has it. Back to Misa on the left side. And she once again stays along the line on the left and keeps it in. Nine to five. 49 are still with the lead. Now the setter, Clancy. Oh, drop shot and gets it over. Mackey. To Julie to Serna, kept alive by Pacific. They go back to Misa, and she's controlled. Julie gets it to the left side, and Eigner Swayze will put the finishing touches right in the back row. Found a spot where no one was, and put it down. 11th kill for the sophomore. Yeah, great job by Eigner Swayze. Uh, being set up there, had, had the opening in the defense and took advantage. She's really, you know, had a lot of playing time this year, especially when Ledoux was out, and she's established herself as a go-to target. Speaking of go-to targets, Haley Hampton, the overpass is where I eat. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Huge kill. <laughs> Just smacks that one down. No regard for anyone under the net. 11 to 5. Pacific handles the serve here. They get it to the right side. Good dig by Ledoux in the back row. Julie to Agner Swayze. Kept alive in the back by Pacific. Now Misa takes a swing, blocked, but out of bounds. So it's going to be a Misa kill. Number 16. Still a five-point lead for the 49ers. Misa serving. Gets it to Eigner Swayze. Julie. So it would do. The drop shot, not going to get it done. Pacific stays tough on the right side now. And that's going to fight its way through. On uh, Igner Swayze in Hampton's hands and fall down to the ground. Yeah, Katie Taggart there going right at the block and through it. And those, when they deflect softly through the block, they often find uh, the area of floor right behind them. And that's exactly what happened. Serve over. Igner Swayze to Julie. And Hampton on the bad passes just throws it over. Back over to Long Beach State. Igner Swayze takes a little sh shot at it. Pacific handles it up the middle for them. Perfect drop shot by Gabby Cowden. Right over the outstretch hand of Haley Hampton. That's going to fall down. Tigers on a bit of a run here. Yeah, that was expertly done. She knew Haley Hampton was right there in the middle behind her. So just a little tip. Got it over the block, got the point. Up the middle for Kayla Ledoux. Her shot from the back row hits the net and stays up. Back over to Long Beach State now. Hampton takes a swing, blocked. Back over to Long Beach State. Julie's going to put it over on the third hit. 
Bad first pass, and Eisner Swayze takes care of it. Cowden did her best to just keep her face away from that. Yeah, it was quite the facial there for Agnes Swayze. She actually put it right at her, um, but Cowden just had to try to go for the matrix maneuver. Unfortunately, still took it off the nose, and it's point to the Niners. 12 to 8. Jackson serving now. Misa to Clancy on the left side. And it's going to be finished by Megan Birch. Pacific yet another side out. Trailing by three here. That lead was at once six for the 49ers. So the Pacific has made work. Loop serve over. Julie gets it to Hampton. And she towers over everyone and puts it where no one is. 13 to nine. Janisa Johnson checking in to serve here. So they'll have her in the back row. Still waiting for that first kill. They're no looking for it. From JJ, I want to see it. Left side for Birch. Oh my. That's going to be wide right. Yeah, she hit it hard, but that was well wide. So the attack error puts a five point advantage back into the hands of the 49ers. Pacific to the right side. The set. I don't know if it was a bad set or just a bad jump. Anyways, it results in too many hits on the uh, Pacific side, and it's going to be a 15 to 9 49ers team not knowing where to go. And, and they're doing this all without the offensive help of uh, Janisa Johnson. And that's, that's kind of what they needed. They have Janisa Johnson uh, out of, at least out of the offensive side of the ball game. And they need people to step up. And so far, Cerna and Eigner Swayze have. Right side for Pacific, and they open up after the timeout with a point on the right side. Sanders moving to her right. Gets the kill in front of Janisa Johnson in the back. Sanders has been pretty effective. She doesn't lead the team in kills and uh, hasn't quite had as many opportunities to swing, but I think she's been the most efficient for Pacific. And uh, this one let go, and it will be an ace for the Tigers. So once again, we kind of count them out of this one, and they roll right back out of a timeout. Two straight points here to get back in this thing. Lisa Johnson let that one go. This time she will take it. Ladu finishes with the swing, but it's kept alive. Up the middle for Pacific. Haley Hampton there on the second hit. Back over on the free ball. Pacific with the swing on the right side. Good dig. It's at the net. A jousting match, and Julie fought it over. Pacific has it. The shot by Misa in the back. And it is going to be a Pacific point. Three straight Tiger points. A couple of great digs uh, on that rally for Janisa Johnson, but could not get the third one there. And uh, so now it's just a three-point spread, as you mentioned, Pacific coming back here. Jackson to Julie. Left side to Ledoux. Kept alive. Clancy gets it to the right side, and Sanders doesn't look pretty, but gets it done. Four straight Tiger points. And now when will uh, the timeout have to come from head coach Brian Jamalara? He's, he's got to think about stopping this momentum at some point. That's a two-point advantage for his club. Jackson to Julie. Over to Ledoux, and wow, the captain fires an absolute bullet down, and the lead back to three. As if to say, save your timeout, coach. Here's the side out. <laughs> now Haley Hampton back to serve. A 16-13 advantage. For Long Beach State looking to claim this match with the win here in set four. A shot on the left side for, si for Pacific. Gobbled up and Ledoux takes a drop shot. It's gobbled up on the other end. Misa takes a swing. Handled. Second hit by Johnson is brought back over and Julie finishes it. Free ball over to Pacific. They take a shot from the right. Back over to Long Beach State. Now a back row shot by yes. Misa and we got it. Yes. First kill for JJ. There it is on the board. Great set from Aaron Julie. And uh, Janisa rising up and uh, putting it away, unable to dig that one. So she's on the board. One kill for Janisa Johnson. She did it for you, Tyler. <laughs> she <laughs> heard you. Appreciate it. 17 to 13, serve over. Left side, Birch takes a drop shot, kept alive. Up the middle for Cerna. Can't get it done, but Pacific hangs, hangs with it. That one hit the net, and it's going to be too many hits for Pacific. The shot on the right side hit the net, no deflection, so the play is dead as it remains on Pacific's end. 18 to 13, back to a five-point lead. Hampton serve, gets over. Clancy sets up the left side. Birch with the swing, and a clutch swing it was as it stays in. The Tigers get their 14th point. 
Yeah, Megan Birch, she's had uh, plenty of chances in this match. She still has a negative hitting percentage, which is not, uh, not what you want to see, but she's double digit in kills, and obviously a player that Pacific wants to go to. Main call to Julie, so we'll do. She fought it through. Couple of players in her face, Clancy and Sanders. And it wasn't easy, but she fought it through their hands. Back up by five. Aaron Julie gets the whistle. Drop shot, or excuse me, a blooper all the way to the back, and it just barely watched out by the libero. Matsuoka did a good job at eyeing that one out of bounds. Tigers get the easy point. It's back to Pacific for the serve. Minkle retrieves it, gives it to Julie. A long set to Caitlin Ledoux. And then missile off the arms of Siga Applegate. That couldn't have felt good. I mean, if, uh, if the Pacific setter were um, one of the riders on press road, then that would have been a beautiful pass. <laughs> Otherwise, that is a shank and point for the Niners. 20 to 15, 49ers eyeing that finish line. Ledoux serving, gets it over. Matsuoka to Clancy, back sets it to the right side, and a good back row save by Ledoux. Eigner Swayze finishes it on the left side. Make that a six point lead. 49ers taking this match right now, answering the call of Pacific. Uh, they've got this one all but wrapped up. The mojo is definitely on the side of the black and gold. Bad first passing, Serna once again, as she always is, there to clean it up. A seven point lead, three points away from the finish line. Translation, get that weak stuff out of here. <laughs> Overpasses are just in danger when Alma Serna's around. And that one, uh, a bad serve from Ledoux going straight into the net. So the air gives Pacific the point. But they're still got a big mountain to climb for the visitors. Still a commanding 22 to 16 lead here in set number four. 49ers up 2-1 in sets, looking to finish this one off. Left side driver Swayze and the sophomore gets into it. 14th kill for her. She is tied for the team lead with Ledoux. Hitting 444. Delaney has quietly put up an amazing match. There if you need a great match from the sophomore and the Niners racing to the finish line here. There's a block, Pacific stays tough. It's gonna be a free ball as they put the third hit back over. Minkle to Julie, to Agnes Swayze, blocked but kept a lot. Put up in the air, the dude takes a swing, good back row dig by Pacific. Misa now with the swing, she kept it in. So Pacific King's tough for the point. They're pretty much gonna need to rattle off a good five straight points to stay in this one. Yeah, the pressure will be on. The Niners one away from match point, and then the building will be alive. Everybody will stand up, and uh, the underdogs will really start to feel it. So I think you're right. They need quite the run here. So responsibility on Samantha Misa back serving to, uh, to get things done here. 23-17. A little mop-up job being performed on Long Beach State's end, and they got everything cleared up. Back to action. Misa with the serve. Ledoux well, gets it to Julie. She'll go to the left side for Eigner Swayze. Off balance shot and Pacific stays with it. Misa from the back row, blocked by Haley Hampton. Haley Hampton has put Long Beach State within one point of uh, taking this match. We're at match point, crowd rises to their feet. 24 to 17, this could be it. Pacific put on um, a nice showing, stayed with the Niners, but Long Beach looking to put it away. Pacific on the left side, the swing and what a fitting end. A block on the left side by Hampton and Julie, and that is all she wrote. The setter and the middle go up together and they block it straight down. 25-17 and set four, the 49ers take it here at home. So 25-16 in set number one, 49ers took that one. They had a bit of a hiccup in set number two with Pacific taking it 25-23, but then they rattled off two straight set wins to finish things off here at home. And the homestand, the three-game homestand, ends up with three straight wins. They started off with Cal State Fullerton last week, and then yesterday against UC Davis, and here tonight against Pacific, they've taken in four sets, and they have responded well after that crushing loss to UC Riverside.